here at home now, Governor Raimondo issues a very stern warning to anyone not following social distancing guidelines, saying that she will take matters in her own hands. Brandon Truett is in our control room this morning. Brandon, what is she planning to do? Hey, Danielle, good morning. Well, the governor says she continues to get reports that people are gathering in large groups and with health officials warning that this could be our worst week yet. The governor has a warning of her own for anyone not following the rules. If we don't start complying and getting a whole lot more serious right now, then I'm going to have to shut everything down. In fact, the governor said she'd be getting in her SUV and going all over the state to break up crowds herself. Many people continue to head to stores for groceries and other items. The governor says her issue is not with her issues, in fact, with those retailers that are not following her current guidelines. The health department is now advising people to wear masks or face covering when out in public, saying it can't keep you from getting COVID-19, but could help you from getting other sick, even if you're asymptomatic. Then there's the question about gloves. Are they actually making a difference? The state's health department says they can if used correctly. Using store clerks as an example here, germs stick to gloves and clerks would have to change their gloves every customer to avoid spreading them. When I'm in the hospital or my office seeing patients and I put on gloves, I don't go from patient to patient to patient wearing the same pair of gloves. That just doesn't make any sense at all. And so if I in the healthcare profession know that's not the way to go, I just really think folks in the commercial world, we better just not to use gloves at all. The Department of Health instead encourages people to just stick with the basics, hand sanitizer and of course washing your hands. In the meantime, the governor, as you mentioned, Danielle, is encouraging anyone who feels sick to get tested for COVID-19. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.